When working with Zotero, the first thing you want to do is create a collection within your library. So I'm going to create a new collection by clicking this button up here, and then I can enter in my title. And all I have to do is click OK, and it will create that collection for me and go ahead and open it up. The next thing I want to do is actually import articles into the collection. The first way and the primary way that I do this is by importing in PDFs. So if you just go to a folder with a bunch of PDFs, I've selected these here. I can just click, drag, and drop them into Zotero, and it will start importing them in. Once it starts importing them in, it will start getting the metadata from the PDFs to generate the actual citation and reference information. Once that's finished, you can just click close. And now what you will see is that the reference is in a list here. And then any drop down will get you the PDF for that reference there. The other way to do this is to import a bib text file. So if you export a bib text from any software, you can import those in by going to file, import, you're going to click a file. And then I'm just going to select this bib text file here. And I'm going to not put them in a new collection and then it will start importing in the files that are in the bib text file. So doing this imported these files into my general library, I would then have to copy and move these, for example, ones like these into my new collection like this. And then you can see that they appear in here. There's two other ways to get references into Zotero. The first one is if you go to something like Google Scholar, if you go to any reference, you can click cite, and then you can click the bib text. This will open up a new page with that bib text information. If you highlight it and copy it and go back to Zotero, you can then go into your file and you can just say import from clipboard and it will add that in. You can see this is actually a duplicate of one already in here, so I'm gonna delete that out. And I can do that with just pressing the delete key. The other way you can do this is if you have the Zotero connector already installed, Google Chrome extension installed into your Google Chrome, you can come up to your extensions, you can scroll down and click Zotero connector, and then it'll show all of the articles within that page. So I can click a few of these articles and I can say, okay, and it will add those into my library. And you can see, I can choose the specific library here and I'm adding them into the specific library I wanted to and now it has that within there. If I go back to my Zotero, you can see I now have this toxicant exposure during pregnancy that came from the Zotero connector. So those are a few ways to actually get your articles within Zotero. The next thing you can do is actually organize within Zotero. So a few ways to do this is you can add tags and tags are a really good way of being able to pull out specific themes within different articles and then be able to organize it. So I'm going to, within here, I'm gonna go ahead and type in clinical analysis. And when I press enter, it creates that tag. And now you can see down here, it has this tag there. So when I click it, it's going to filter for only those with the tag. And if I click off of it, it will unfilter for that. The other way to do it is you can see I have a collection here, but I can also add a sub collection. So if I right click, I can click new sub collection and I can call this clinical analysis. And if I go into here, I can now drag the specific ones I'm interested that are talking about clinical analysis into there. The nice thing about this is if you add something into a sub collection, it will automatically add it into the overall collection as well. So these will still appear within here, even if I add directly to my sub collections. So this is one way to be helpful in how to organize and figure out things. The other thing you really wanna be able to do in Zotero is actually make PDF annotations. So if I click down here and I go to the PDF, you can see I have the PDF in here and I can do things like highlighting. You can see I can highlight there. I can also change colors of my highlight, as you can see there. I can also create a note. So I can type a note in here. And so I can just add a note in there like that. And I can also select an area to get a screen capture like this. Now, one of the things that's really cool about Zotero is once you've created those annotations, you can come back to a normal one, you can right click, and you can say add note from annotations. And then you get all of the highlights and annotations that you had easily within your note that is then much more searchable. You can also always find anything by searching it. So if I go back to my larger one and I search something like lithium, it's searching within the actual PDFs for the information. So having it in there, you can actually search within your PDFs for that specific information. The final thing you really wanna be able to do with Zotero is cite. So for example, here is a Word document I am trying to cite. And all I have to do is once you have the Zotero plugin installed, you can come up to Zotero 
and you can click Add Edit Citation. The first thing this will do will bring up a document preferences. So I can just click American Chemical Society or I can click any of the other styles that I have and then I can just click OK. Then it will bring up this search bar right here. One way I can do this is just to search within this search bar. So if I search steroids, but you can see that I have a lot of them in here. And so I have a lot of duplicates because I do a lot of tutorials. So another way I can do it is click down here and go to classic view. This will bring up what's basically looks like a small Zotero within your editor. And so I can go to my collection that I've already created, and then I can click the ones that I actually want to include in here. So I can click those two and click OK, and it will automatically add them in. Now, once I have all of my citations in, I can add in the bibliography. So to do that, all I have to do is hit Add Edit Bibliography, and it will go ahead and add that in. Now, I can always change my citation style really easily by just clicking this, and it will change the citation style to the new citation. If you, have, if you need to use a citation style that isn't available within Zotero normally, you can easily add citation styles. So if I need to add a new style in, all I have to do is go to zotero.org slash styles and I can search for the new style. So if I wanna search for the Journal for the American Society of Mass Spectrometry, all I had to do was search for that and then I can click it. And then it's going to ask me, do I wanna add the citation style to Zotero? And I click okay. If I come back to my Word document and go to document preferences and scroll down, you can see I now have the Journal for the American Society of Mass Spectrometry. I can click okay and then it will now reformat to that style. And now to the basics of using Zotero. And if you're looking for how to write your research article, don't forget to download my scientific research paper checklist. I hope this was helpful and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.